Hi, and welcome to a new edition of Champ Speak. Remember, Champ Speak uh, features Indian Oil's elite sports persons, uh, you know, those who have done the country and the corporation proud. We had a couple of Olympians. We had uh, Sharath Kamal and uh, Simranjit Singh of uh, Indian Hockey, India Hockey, winning a bronze medal after a long, long time, 41 years that India won a medal at the Olympics. And today we have uh, another Olympian uh, who really did wonders uh, in his career until now and has, uh, was uh, in Tokyo for the Olympics, just uh, finished his engagement once again on the ATP Tour. Uh, it's Sumit Nagal, the junior boys doubles uh, champion of 2015, joining us here on Champs Week. A very warm welcome, Sumit. Thank you, sir. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm looking forward to this chat and I'm hoping uh, everything goes well here. Yeah, me, me too. Sumit, just uh, tell us about the Olympics experience. You know, you it was almost towards the end that uh, you made the cut. Uh, was, was there enough time to prepare, mentally prepare? Uh, and how was it? You got past the first round. I think after Leander Pace, you were the first player to get into round two. Of yeah, I mean, it was, it was quite funny because uh, I, I still remember it was Friday. And I, I woke up, you know, it's my morning practice coming. Uh, I just checked my phone. I saw an email says, okay, I got an email from my association saying that I've got into Olympics. Uh, please let, let us know as soon as possible uh, if you're going to play or not. And then, you know, I was like wide awake. I was like, okay, wow. I'm a little bit, little bit nervous, a little bit shaky because um, I, I knew that the cut was going to drop because I knew like, you know, we, we as a tennis player, we speak to people and all, but I didn't know it was going to drop that that much that I would get in, I would get a chance to play. So I was, I was not expecting it to be honest. So I, I got, got the email. I saw, I was like, wow, I straight away called my coaches. None of them picked up the phone because they were on the court at that time. Uh, so I drove, I drove there in like next 10 minutes. I brushed my teeth, ate something quick, drove there. I said, okay, I got in and I, I don't think there was a uh, much of discussion. They said, what do you think? I said, I want to play. They said, okay, uh, we'll go play there. Um, to mentally and physically prepared, I don't, I didn't have enough time. Um, I, I was going through a, uh, uh, an injury. So I was, I had some days off and then, uh, going to Tokyo playing in this hot weather was, was what the first round. I mean, I, I had played for three hours it was not easy. I, if, like I said, I, I mentioned earlier on, if, if I had not, uh, if I wasn't playing for the country, I don't know if I would have survived that match. It was, it was one of the toughest match I ever played in my life. Yeah, uh, you know, Sumit, a lot of players, tennis players, especially had complained about the weather in Tokyo. And uh, you, of course, as you said, you know, you had to endure tough conditions there. And where were you exactly when you got the news? Uh, I, I suppose you are touring, you are playing one of the mm -hmm. top... No, I wasn't playing a tournament. I was in Germany. I just, uh, I was just doing some treatment for my for my leg, and uh, I I was at home. I mean, for me, home now is Germany. I don't get to come to India so much. So, um, uh, I had not played for some tournaments from past two weeks. And uh, tell me, how when you reached uh, from there to uh, Tokyo, how was? Uh, did you have to quarantine yourself because? These days, it's all over players living in a bio bubble and, you know, stuff like that. Um, I actually, I was okay because I, I have not been to any red zone country in my last 14 days. Plus, I'm fully vaccinated. So, uh, plus, I did a test before going. So, everything, I ha we had to do two tests in the last uh, uh, four days before uh, flying. Um, uh, so everything was okay. I mean, yes, the only little bit sad part for me would be that we didn't get a chance to go out out of the village, especially me being a big, big, huge fan of uh, Japanese culture. Uh, other than that, uh, like I said, I mean, I was very excited uh, to get on that plane to land in in, in Tokyo, and then I was just it was a it was a proud moment. Yeah, a did proud. Did. Yeah, it's been a unique experience as well. The exactly. Olympics, so. You have uh, the who's who of uh, world sports out there. Exactly. And so many athletes, so many amazing athletes representing from their, from their country. And, you know, to be part of them, is, it's, it's a great feeling. Because at the end, I think everyone plays sports to be there, to, to, to do well in Olympics, to, to make their country proud, you know. And uh, Sumit, as a proud Indian, you would be extremely happy. Neeraj Chopra winning gold, India getting... Incredible. All ever at the Olympics. 
Yeah, incredible. I mean, uh, I mean, him winning gold is is just amazing, and you know, we got seven goals this time. I mean, seven medals this this uh, this time. I think is the highest ever. If I'm if I'm not wrong. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, so this is this is just incredible. I'm I'm so happy. I'm so proud of them. So so, so proud of them. So, I mean, we all are proud. It's it's indeed a very proud uh, moment for Indian sports. Uh, now, let's talk about your career going back in time. How did you get hooked on to tennis? Did anyone in the family play? <laughs> it's a funny story because uh, nobody in my fe- uh, family plays tennis. Um, uh, my mom used to play a bit of kabaddi when she was growing up. Uh, yeah, dad was that was a uh, was in army. Then he's a teacher now. Um, uh, I I I really really like cricket when I was young. I used to play a lot. Let's say, I'm I'm talking about eight to ten hours a day. Where if I didn't have school or if I finished school, all I would do is play cricket. And I don't know for some reason my dad wasn't happy about it. He wanted me to play some individual sport. And uh, I went to one uh, DDS sports complex in Delhi and we just saw tennis courts and he was like, okay, let's, we should give this a try. And when I played tennis, when I started tennis, I had zero idea about the sport. I didn't know what, what is what. I didn't know the scoring for, for, I think, I think for a month or two. I didn't know what a, what a break point was for like first five months. So it was very, very new to me um, to learn the skills and everything. And I think it was a fun, fun journey to to learn uh to to play a professional sport and from there to winning the wimbledon boys uh, double title in 2015 yeah and then you know i it's a, it's a funny story because um, when i like i said uh, i don't usually play much of doubles and um, i i was i was having trouble getting a visa for for uk so i had missed out the first tournament which i was going to play before coming to uh, before playing uh, wimbledon so I was like, okay, I got there on the night before the tournament starts. You know, I get to play 30 minutes on the court. And I was like, okay, I'll just sign in for doubles. Maybe I play my doubles match before my singles match. So at least I have some time on court. But unfortunately, I had I played singles before my doubles. And uh, which didn't turn out too well. And then I said, okay, you know, it's just doubles. Have fun. Be in London. Be in Wimby. It's uh, it's it's where everyone, every tennis player wants to be, and then we're match by match, boom, boom, here, there, <laughs> and then we had a really, really long semi-final playing uh, really two good players who are who are top 30, 40 now. Uh, we won 13-11 in in the third set, and then uh, played another final against great, great players. So we had we had good, really good matches, and that was a uh, that was you, you that had was a fun fun match. You had Sorry. a great miss partner there for the doubles. That's right, sir. That's right. And uh, again, from 2015, 2017 was many days remarkable for you. You won a, a gold medal at the Asian Indoor uh, Meet. And uh, then, of course, the challenger at Bangalore 2017 was uh, one of your best tournaments. Your first ATP title, if I'm not mistaken. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, mid-2017, I knew I was playing good tennis. I had really... Uh, close uh, losses against really good players. I just needed that one one week to you know to get the get it get it together, get it going, and that's why I got, I was. I think I I had a really t- long or tough first or second match in 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 Bangalore where I played almost three hours. Uh, I was, um, was very hot that day. I remember. And I remember the other guy was cramping, and I was like, "Wow, I'm like I don't want to be in that position." And from there, from there on, I think I just went game by game, set by set. Everything went in my rhythm, in my flow. And yeah, soon later, I, I was holding the trophy, my first uh, challenger trophy. Huh. You also got the better of your teammate, Yuki Bamri, on the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I played him in semifinals. True, you're right. And, uh, was a good match. And, and tell us, because Davis Cup is big for India. You know, when you play for Davis Cup, almost all of our tennis players give... You know, it's like uh, they are on a different platform when they play for the country. Tell us about your debut, your Davis Cup experience. My debut was in 2016 against Spain. Um, I know we had lost 4-0 already. Uh, and, you know, they uh, they said, OK, I should play the last match just to get used to the full, uh, feeling, you know, because you would have to play the matches in future. So I get there, I played, I mean... I. I I think I lost the first set, won the second, and third set I was four-one up, and 
it was not the way I wanted to finish the match. I was, I felt very heavy in my, in my, let's say inside me, you know, I, uh, but I was, I was young, you know, I never, never felt, uh, went through this feeling playing first time for the country. I, I, like I said earlier, you know, playing, playing, uh, juniors or ATP tournaments is very, very different to playing when you play for India, when you play for Davis Cup, when you play Olympics, Asian games, the feelings are very, very different. And I got to, I got to go through this feeling. And I think, uh, when you start to learn, when you start learning about this feeling, it's very important. And I'm happy that I got it at such a young age. Also, Sumit, uh, you know, talking about from the Davis Cup, you know, playing the Grand Slams, it's very tough for Indian tennis players. You made the cut for on many. And I think what uh, what remains edged in memory is that one set which you took of the great Roger Federer. So, you know, if you could share those memories. Yeah, um, I, I, I remember I was... Uh, a breakdown in the in the second set in my in my in my last qualifying match you know I was a set and breakdown um I I I had just hit another second serve he had another big point he missed it from there the man the, uh, match and the momentum changed very very quick and in the next 40 minutes I was four love up in the third set and that was a time I was like okay man this is your first slam I are you gonna qualify for this slam you know, finished the match. I came, uh, came back, came back to the locker room. I finished my shower, stretching the usual uh, stuff, and then I was just talking to my coach. And my, I saw the draw, and I was like, I hope I play Roger because I knew he was gonna play a qualifier. So I wanted to play this. I wanted to play him, and boom, you know, he messaged me saying, "You play Roger." Um, uh, I think. Uh, that was Friday, yeah. Friday evening, Saturday was I'm very excited. Uh, Sunday, I didn't sleep much because I was very nervousness, but in a good way. You know, I was excited. Uh, I remember I had to I had to sleep in the in the afternoon um, for uh, for two three hours before going to the match. When I went to the court, uh, when when I went for the match, um, uh, things things went fast. I mean, it didn't feel like I played for three hours because point by point. I didn't even realize I won the first set. I was sitting. I'm like, okay, I know it's, it's a scoreboard say six four, but it's still a long way to go because slams is the best of five uh, sets. Um, uh, I had a couple of chances in the match, um, especially in the fourth set. Uh, he was serving five four, love forty three break points. Then another pick wins and deuce. And towards the end, I knew I was playing. I was playing good tennis, high level tennis. And unfortunate, I couldn't change that last game and. It uh, it ended the way that I didn't expect, but overall it was a it was a huge uh, huge uh, achievement for me to be to be playing on that court because that is one of the court where I when I was growing up I used to watch Roger play in black clothes you know because uh, it's it's very very normal for for uh, for them to wear dark clothes at night because you play so many uh, night matches in U.S. Open. And this, this, this was the picture I had. And I, when I went there, I saw him and 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 wearing full black, you know, nice, nice outfit. And I was like, okay, man, this is it. <laughs> it would have been a huge learning experience, Sumit. It was, yeah, it was very helpful. Very helpful that I, I like I said, I was very looking forward to him, and I got that uh, I got an opportunity to play him, and and uh, and things uh, changed uh, changed for me after this match. And Sumit, also tell me, you know, it's very tough. Often people only see the the glamour behind tennis players, you know, the fame you get. But there's so much of blood, sweat and tears which goes behind it. Now, you told that you're based in Germany, living away from the family, maybe living out of suitcases. How tough has the journey been? Uh, for me, especially the last few years, it's been very tough. Because, you know, when you're young, when you're playing juniors, it's not so much a pressure because... You, you're there, you're just playing maybe 15 weeks, 12 weeks, you know, enjoying, you're seeing things for the first time. But when you start getting older, things changes. You know, you have to play for now, play for yourself, play for your country, play your family. You have to do well, you have to survive because if you don't do well, you don't have uh, money to or pay for your next uh, next month or whatever, you know. Um, uh, the traveling is very hectic, especially uh, during the Corona time right now. Uh, the last one and a half years, because we we have to do so many bubbles, uh, bubble to bubble, which where we were not allowed to go out of the out of the hotel, just the tennis courts. Uh, 
staying away. Like I said, I've been home once in the last uh, 19 months, which is I miss my family. I miss my friends. I wish I could go home, but the rules are very tough right now. Yeah, I know it's been very tough for sports persons, uh, you know, across disciplines, uh, Sumit, uh, which also brings me to your association with Indian Oil. You joined uh, Indian Oil in late 2017, December, was it? Uh, how has the association been over the years? Yeah, um, uh, I remember I got this message uh, saying that, you know, you got an interview and I was I was super excited because th this was something that I was looking forward to. Um, and then I remember getting on this. I get, remember getting a message on December 4th or email saying that um, I've, I've, I've been selected. I, uh, I think I think I, I told everyone or called every every family member or friends that uh, I've been selected for for a job in Indian oil. Um, uh, past few years, I think Indian oil has, has really, really helped me. Uh, there was a time, uh, I'm, I'm just talking about the fi financial stuff first. There was a time where I did not even have $10 left in my account and I'm not exaggerating. Um, uh, that's where having this, uh, this, this help uh, from Indian oil gives me gives me an opportunity to, to survive another week, another month. Um, uh, the company, one thing I really like about the company is the, the work they put in for, for athletes, not only in tennis, but uh, the help they've been doing to, towards the sports. I mean, uh, just look at it, how many Asian gold medals we had uh, last time, you know? Um, uh, or, and also, also uh, doing good things for the, for the society, for the, for the global global warming, these are the these are the. Uh, I mean, I've never I'd, I have not seen too many uh, companies doing doing stuff like this. And uh, Sumit also, you know, playing for the Indian Oil team in Petroleum Sports uh, Promotion Board tournament. You got Drone Open. Uh, you got uh, Ramnathan. It's, it's such a strong team you have. Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, we got Rohan Bopanna. Yeah, yeah, Rohan Bopanna, Devich. And Ram Kumar, we've got the Davis Cup team. I mean, I think we, since I, since I've been on the team, we have won we have won every every tournament. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. It's a fun week. Yeah. I love love being there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's also almost all the cream of uh, Indian tennis is there because most of the top tennis players are employed with different uh, petroleum companies. So it's right, it's exactly. A lot of fun, it's it's it is, it is it is it is it is it's very much fun. We love and, we love playing this tournament. Yeah. And Sumit, once again, back on the tour, uh, uh, playing a tournament tomorrow. How has the preparation been? Uh, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, I got to hit before it rained down. Uh, so I was a little bit lucky. Looking forward to uh, tomorrow's match. Uh, should, be a, should be a fun one. And we take it uh, day by day from there. Well, Sumit, uh, it's been such a pleasure chatting with you. And wish you the very best. Thank you so much on the eve of a tournament, taking time off uh, to speak to us on Champs Peak. Uh, Wonderful. Good luck. Good luck for the future. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, Sumit, that's uh, Sumit uh, Nagal for you, a tennis player, Olympian at uh, Tokyo, speaking to us on Champ Speak. So, until the next edition, where we'll feature another of Indian Oil's outstanding sportspersons, it's goodbye from the entire team here at Champ Speak.